Hello and welcome back to 5 Minute Materials, the show where we demystify every node in the Unreal Engine Material Graph. Today, we're looking at the per instance random node. So, jumping straight into it, let's say we have some foliage. This is all instance foliage, which is, you know, what gets placed when you use the foliage placement tool uh, that you might be familiar with. This also applies to anything that's using, you know, an instant static mesh component. And it also applies to landscape grass types, of which mine is not showing up at the moment for some unexplicable reason. So, if we jump into our foliage material, and we get our per instance random uh, doobly-doo, then what this is going to do is return a random 0 to 1 value. So if we put this into a lerp, all right, we're just going to roll with a lerp 3 color because all of my search functions are all out of order. So if we just get three random ass colors and we put them into the A, B, and C of this three lerp, and we put that into the base color, and we have a little look at our foliage, you can see that it is all different colors. It's, uh, I guess, random colors, you could say. Basically, this can be used to create a lot of variation in your foliage without creating different materials. Now, you don't have any control over, you know, which is which. So if I really wanted this one to be blue, uh, there is no way to do that as far as I'm aware. So the last thing I want to talk about is the fact that this doesn't work with non-instanced thingamajigs. So for example, if we just went into our foliage, bushes, these ones, uh, and we just smacked one of these down, you can see that none of the randomness actually applies to this, um, this little foliage. Because if I get another one, it's red too, and another one. And at this point, I don't think it's a coincidence anymore. So what we could do instead, this is going a little bit out of scope of today's video, but what we could do instead, instead of using per instance random, we could instead create our own pseudo randomness by getting the world position. We're going to break it into its float three. Then we're just going to add all these together. And then what we will do is probably the cheapest way to do this is to frack it. Um, if you don't know what frack does, it basically just removes anything left of the decimal place. So it's always 0, 0.0 up to 0. 9999999999. Um, so basically, we've got the world position. We've taken all three coordinates, added them up. So it's like a ridiculously big number. Then we've just truncated everything left of the decimal place. And then we put this into the alpha of our, you know, schneebly dooblies. And then when we hit play, uh, I've actually made a, a grave mistake. Um, <laughs> we're actually going to use the pivot point instead of the absolute world position. I don't know why I. Hmm. Uh, right. Pivot point. Object pivot point. Anyway, if we have a look at our actors, you can see that they are all random colors now. Uh, and if we move them, you know, they'll just kind of flash different colors until they stop moving. Uh, so obviously you don't want to be using this for anything that is moving. Uh, stationary objects only, please. And yeah, this is just a nice way to get some random variation or pseudo random variation between static meshes that you've placed in the world. So yeah, there you go. If you're not using instances, then this is just another way that you can get a, you know, per instance random uh, into your material. So what did we learn today? Well, per instance random returns a random number between zero and one uh, per instance index of your, you know, your foliage or your landscape grass or your instant static mesh components inside your, you know, actors and whatever. It can be used for literally anything that needs randomness. You can also use it to randomly seed your textures. Uh, if you don't want your textures to all be in the same position, if you're using like tiling textures or something on your foliage, um, you can just basically add that to the UVs and it will offset it by a random amount for each foliage uh, instance. So that's it for today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to the video. And if you want to go one step further in supporting the video, then you can do so for as little as $1 per month in our Patreon, which is always linked below.
If you do need any help with anything Unreal Engine related, make sure you join our Discord, which is also linked below. Shout out to the current patrons. You guys are pretty fantastic. Uh, and I guess with that, I say goodbye. Goodbye.